But mine is specifically about being a guest blogger. So we're going to keep it like that. Go. We're going to keep it as a guest blogger. Um, and it's a, it's, as I said, it's a smaller niche. So, uh, uh, how do I spell terrific? Okay, and I made bullets here. Um, I would also like to add if anyone is interested in doing any to becoming a in being a guest blogger for this site, give me a shout out and let me know. Of course you email me. Um and of course, I'd like to share. Okay, so now uh, let's let's update and see where we're at now. Now that we change things around. Okay, now we're at seventy-five percent, and we have two point three two. So I'm I'm trying to get to two point five. Um, you do not have an image for SEO presser, so we'll have to do that. And we don't have a keyword in the last sentence, which is kind of what they say to do too. See, as you can see, the last sentence is just me saying, hey, uh, make sure you, you tell me. Of course, share this post with your friends via the social bookmark icons, either below or above, directly under the video, another awesome way of getting links there. Other, um, other, other than, uh, than as a guest blogger. And I'm going to take this. I don't think I need to do any more. We did H1, H2, H3, and I don't think we need to do H4. So that is in the final final sentence, guest blogger. And we need a photo. We need a picture. Um, so let's just go grab an image, see if I have any. Let's hope I have something from my computer. Um, from my computer. Files, let's go to master image first off. Let me take a look at what I have. I don't think I have anything that's really kind of defines guest blogging. Um, maybe I'll take the network of people and hopefully it's not too large. Might be too big. Oh, I guess that's okay. Actually, it's not. It's kind of small. So let's insert that so it goes to the left. Um, oops, right. But we want it at the very top, right here. So let's do that again. Now I believe it's going to now be in my gallery because I just put it in there. So let's check. Yes, it is. Show. Insert to the left. Okay. All right. And now let's update again and see if everything is checked off with the green, um, the green check mark. Except, oh, it's not reading that last sentence. Guest. Blogger. We have to really make an actual sentence. Of course, if you if you would share this post with your friends via the okay, let's try that now. See if that actually worked, where they could tell. It's still not seeing it. That's funny. So let's go in and. Copy, delete. Whoops. Video, that would be great. Okay. 
Let's see if that works now. Did that work? Okay, yeah, it worked. So now you can see we are at 90%, 2.93, so we wanted to get between 2.5 and 3% in terms of keyword density. And and now we're much better, we're, we're so much better off than we were at 14%. We are now at 90% for, uh, for really getting SEO, uh, for getting search engine optimized. And you know, obviously there's 10% more that we could go, we could hit, and which and, and that would simply entail, you know, the probably the, the best way to do that is add more bullets as a guest blogger for someone who has been in the business longer, it can elevate your status within your niche much uh, at a faster rate maybe it's at a much faster rate than than if you were than if you were to let's just say much faster rate okay as a guest blogger for someone who has been in the business longer comma who has a strong following following comma it can elevate your status within your niche at a much faster rate let's just see if that did anything with a 90% score it may not have done it might not do anything so it kept it at 90% so i think you just really have to if you add a lot more guest, I'm going to capitalize blogger and guest blogger. Oops. Guest blogger. Okay. As a guest blogger, comma, our blogger, I just want to make sure guest blogger, guest, guest blogger. Okay. Just fixing things up a bit. Sorry, I'm I'm doing this while I'm actually recording, but uh, so you can just kind of see what I'm doing. Guest blogger. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, now let's see what I also get with my. Yeah, here we go. So, I also have SEO custom keyword. I, my my particular um, theme, my blog, um, my uh, um, WordPress theme has SEO description um, areas and things like that. So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to copy this, copy, and now I'm going to paste it in here. Yep, okay. And do we back guest blogging? Guest blogger. Why should you be a guest blogger? Okay. Now All right, so now let's update that, and we'll go check out the post once it's updated. Well, we got up to 3.2 keyword density. That's kind of cool. So let's uh, view the post, see where we're at.
So this is what the post looks like now that it's done. Um, and uh, and just so you you, you know you're, you're seeing it um, uh, as you can see, I, I don't know how you feel about having the H1 and the H2 and the H3. You know, sometimes it can be a bit much having everything on there, but uh, you know, just having everything so 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 optimized and it kind of looks a little cheesy but um, that's why I was saying you don't necessarily have to go with 100% with it uh, maybe Steve keep it at 88 to 90% and then you're not over um, you're not inundating the uh, the post with a bunch of you know where it's like okay clearly this person is just keeping it keyword swamped you know this post is it's keyword rich everywhere so you want it keyword rich but at the same time you also want it to not look keyword rich so that's kind of the 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 bloggers uh the the dilemma i guess if you know to to if you're a really good writer you can generally um do both you know where where the the post is is a really great article, and it's not, and it doesn't seem like you're optimizing it yet. It is uh, fully optimized. So, um, I hope this was kind of helpful. Uh, you know, and then I have a video in here, and uh, that video is also tagged and optimized. Okay. And um, and so I, again, I hope you found this uh, this video helpful. Uh, and I, like I said, I, I think SEO WordPress plugin, uh, SEO Presser is a great plugin. It helps you with really just really understanding how to optimize, what it, what requirements there are to doing SEO optimization, uh, which is redundant because SEO uh, search engine optimization. So, so what really what it takes for search engine optimization and 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 it's it really I, I I look at it as as a tool as a guideline because eventually you don't need that that SEO presser in there because you understand well now in the header in, or the you know in the um, the heading one I need to have a keyword uh, my keyword in there I need to have a keyword in the title I need to have keyword in the uh, um, heading two and three and then the the last page you know at the la the last sentence as well as having keyword density throughout the entire article. All right, folks, that's about it from me. Uh, it, was, it was great to uh, speak with everyone today and have a video. Um, and if anyone has any questions, I'll have uh, a link, obviously, to my email so you can send anything my way. There will also be a link for this particular product uh, for the SEO Presser if you are interested in actually purchasing it and implementing its, uh, um, its functions into your, uh, into your blog. Okay? Okay, folks, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.